Welcome to Asset Plant Machinery. We're just going to overview our Acryl 3200 by 8 mil variable rake guillotine. This is a heavy duty uh, hydraulic variable rake guillotine where you can change the cutting angle from 0.5 to about uh, 3 degrees. It's got a, a P40 touch CNC controller that operates uh, basically most of the functions on the guillotine itself. So Kaylin will run you through the, uh, the control of that operation very shortly. But just running around the machine itself, it's got heavy duty build quality, individual clamping jacks. Uh, it's got a side throat on there as well. As you can see, all uh, the electrics uh, are all quality components. And uh, off the shelf, we've got Siemens and Schneider electrics. Uh, around the back there, a uh, large, uh, long swing out sort of back gauge. We've got safety reset buttons just over here as well. If somebody breaks the, uh, the safety reset on the front or around the back, and obviously quality hydraulics up the top here. So, Kaylin will run through the uh, the control just to show you the benefits of having the Algo P40 touch controller, and we'll hang you over to Kaylin. So, jump in there, Maddie. So, the controller we've got um, a couple of things running on the controller. We've got access to manual controls, single controls, and programmable controls, which is basically multi step programs. Keeping it simple, most of the time you're going to spend your time in single. In the single screen, what we've basically got from left to right, we've got our material that we're cutting, back gauge length or the length that we're cutting, we've got the material thickness, we've got the blade gap setting, we've got the rake setting. Uh, this is the length that you're cutting, so this will affect how far it strokes down. Uh, this is an offset, so if you're cutting the middle rather than all the way on the left hand side, you can program in an offset. Um, and then we've got a little counter which can be which can be run um, in a minus or can be turned off if you want to do a certain amount of cuts or you just want to have it keep incrementing every time you punch the foot pedal. Additionally, there's a back edge retract there. Uh, it's not something you really have to use. It's, it's kind of useless, to be honest. Um, but if you wanted to use this control, very simple. We're going to select the material. We've got mild steel, we've got stainless steel and aluminium. So let's just say, for example, cutting aluminium. All I'm going to do is I'm going to program in the material thickness, let's just say 5 mil. And that's pretty much all I have to do if the back edge length is okay. I can hit the green button, it's going to position each axis. And then basically I can just hit my foot pedal. It's going to do a stroke. And it's that simple. So the only things you're going to have to play with are the material, the material thickness and the length that you need. Everything else is more or less automatically controlled. You'll see if I go to a thinner material. What's happening here is you can see that's the setting that it wants to travel to and that's the current position of that axis. You can see those numbers changing while it updates. Very, very simple. So that's your single. That's where you're gonna do most of your work. Uh, the manual controls are not really designed for cutting, it's more or less uh, for debugging an axis or um, repositioning something, but nevertheless, you can, you can use this if you really wanted to. Run through the programming side. Basically what you've got in the programming side, you've got a complete list of programs, one to not sure what it goes to. You can select any of those programs, you can clear those programs, you can name those programs. Basically what you've got inside that program, you can have as many steps as you like, which this is your step counter, okay? And to determine where, where you're going to stop is basically, this indicates we're going to cut two of this length at this step. This is going to do one, and then when we get to the zero on the third step, that's where it's going to stop because there's nothing programmed into that step. So for example, in this job, I've got the, the mild steel with, at 100 mil, Okay, one mil, we're only cutting 800 wide. Um, so that's all programmed into there. We're gonna cut two of those length. Then when that cycles through, it's gonna go to step number two, where we've got one length at 250 millimeters, uh, same length and same material, and then that's it. So there's three separate cuts there. So what's gonna happen, I'll just cycle it through so you can see what happens. Okay, so, number one, you can see that's counting down at the moment, number two, and it's going to step across to step number two, and do the 250mm cut. Once you've completed that third cut, it's just going to reset itself, 
um, to the third step, which actually doesn't have anything in it. We're going to get the quantity reached, which indicates we're at the end of your program. If you want to restart at any point, just go back to number one and go from there. But the controls that you've got on the screen, I'll just run through those really quickly. We've got access to the shadow light, um, start, stop, obviously power, start the hydraulic pump, stop the hydraulic pump, and then we've got our accumulator charge button. For whatever reason, um, if you have the beam drop down, you may need to charge the accumulator. That's what this button is used for. You're going to find there's a little toggle button on the back of the electrical cupboard to set the discharge or charge state of this button. In default, it does nothing until you flip that key across. Uh, that's pretty much it. So that's the controller.